what's up guys so in today's video i'm going to be talking about five things you should know about being a d1 athlete or becoming a d1 athlete so these are things that you guys should understand if you want to be in my shoes so we're going to get right into it with number one which is going to be high demand and very busy so as a d1 athlete you're going to be super busy you're going to have a lot of stuff to do and at the same time you got to take care of your school right you got things like your athletic stuff, athletic events, community, community um, service, uh, camps, sports camps, helping out little kids, you know, being a good role model for them. But just, you know, extracurricular things on the side that keeps you very, very busy. Um, for me, it's almost like a full time job being a D1 athlete because you got so much to do and then you got to take care of the actual soccer aspect and the school aspect of it. So that is very tough. From time to time but it's all about balance at the end of the day and if you can balance all of it together then you'll be okay but um i feel like it's good to stay busy it's good to be always in the go 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 so when you do get onto the outside world um you'll be ready you'll have all that experience from being in college for four four years and um going through all that hecticness so being busy is one thing that you have to really understand if you're someone that's lazy um it's gonna to be tough for you, but I'm sure you can turn that around and get up to speed with everything. So the second thing I'm gonna be talking about um, is distractions. Distractions, distractions, distractions. So there's gonna be a lot of distractions as a D1 athlete. And you guys already might know some, the main one, which is partying and drinking. That is a big distraction. There's lots of it. You know, people are living their, living their best life in college and they're, they're enjoying themselves. But at the same time, being a D1 athlete, requires lots of discipline and it's hard to stay on track sometimes obviously right because there's a lot of people around you there's a lot of bad things around you that you can easily fall into and kind of like lose track of where you're trying to go so distractions is a big one um, if you're someone that's easily distracted someone that can't keep focus on one thing for a while then you know you might fall into that trap but it's good to know it's good to understand and um yeah i mean it's not bad to have fun once in a while and enjoy yourself in college but it's really important to understand like your end goal of college is to deal with athlete i mean if you want to go pro or if you want to take it somewhere even if you want a great job after you need you need to minimize the distractions that you're putting yourself around so the third one here is intimidation um intimidation comes in a lot of different ways as a D1 athlete, I mean, with sports, there's a lot of competition. There's going to be people that are better than you, probably. And um, you got to be able to, you know, hold your own and keep pushing through. It can be intimidating at sometimes. You you can kind of feel small. You can kind of feel scared as well. But um, it is something that for sure you'll be able to get over. Um, also, with the school part of it, there's big crowds, thousands and thousands of kids, huge classrooms if you're not used to that. So that can kind of get to you from time to time. But um, I feel like at the end of the day, it is a good environment, having it very big. For me, at least, um, I feel like I grow better in a large environment, I learn a lot more. So you can turn your intimidate intimidation into something else. You know, you can turn into something positive. So intimidation is there uh, for people that aren't really used to the big scene kind of, but um, I'm sure that you'll be able to figure it out. So the fourth one here is, it's a great opportunity. Being a D1 athlete is a great opportunity, not only for soccer, but also for school. So when we look at it in the school aspect, um, getting interns is, uh, is a bonus because you do have your own advisor, you have extra services, and you, know, you have access to all these little things that regular students don't. So getting internships and pursuing your um, academic career after college as a D1 athlete, if you don't want to go pro, that is very, that is very, very bright, and uh, that's something you can look forward to. Um, on the sport aspect, it's amazing because you know some of the best players in the world have come from uh, D1 athletics, you know, football, soccer, whatever it is, and they go on and have amazing careers. So it can be something that you can also push for. I know it's something that I'm pushing for, and something that I know that I will get within, within myself, with all the hard work I'm putting in. So. It is very, it's, it's a very good opportunity being a, being a D1 athlete. Um, I feel like I didn't really see it much 
but once I came here and you know got used to everything I really seen the opportunity and everything so I just want to be as successful as I can and help out my family so being a D1 athlete is a it's a great thing in terms of opportunity going forward in your life and the last one I'm going to be talking about number five is basically a sum of everything um, as a D1 athlete you should know you need to have a great attitude always 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 um, I feel like attitude is one of the most important things as a D1 athlete because there's going to be a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles that you got to face. And, you know, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have very bad days. You're going to have a lot of good days. Um, but you got to be able to overcome, right? Overcome and adapt. So that also comes to discipline, you know, being sharp, staying mental, uh, mentally tough, always staying ready. It all ties down to attitude, like how, like, are you are you somebody that gets triggered easily? Are you somebody that that wants to fail when 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 times get tough? You can't be like that. You gotta have a strong attitude, strong mindset, and you just gotta be ready to go, 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 push through everything. Cause no one said it's gonna be easy. No one said you're gonna be successful right away. Being a D1 athlete is high in demand, like I said earlier, and having a great attitude of everything always will will get you far. So that's my personal my personal message to you guys because I remember when I came um my first year my attitude wasn't the best I would always get uh bickers with the coach and players and stuff and it was tough at first I was like I don't know if I can even do this like I don't know if I like it but once I sharpened up my attitude and understood that I can't let things get to me yeah I started excelling and it's been it's, it's been my favorite word since I've been here is attitude so so those are like my five things guys that um I think that you guys should know if you guys want to become a D1 athlete or if it's something that you're pursuing. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, please comment down below or message me personally. I can help you out. Um, if I missed anything, I'm sorry. Um, I can also help you out in figuring out what else you need. So please um, like, comment, subscribe, share. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. William is out.